Welcome to Infinity Exhibits Infinity Light Displays. This is the setup instructions. The first thing you will do when you get to the show is unpack your case. Inside the cases will be multiple items which you see here laying on the table. The first thing you will notice will be two longer panels which are going to be the pillars. If you notice the pillars have multiple scores in them. The wall panels only have two scores on the left and right side. In order to build the pillars, you will be used top and bottom supports. The small ones are for the nine inch smaller columns. The larger ones are for the 14 by 14 inch corner columns. You also see two backs with the display. The backs are used for the back side of the two corner pillars as well. Next, you will find aluminum bars. These are the shelf supports for the shelves. Then you will have the shelves, which are the thicker plastic. Next, we have the storage frames, which go on the back bottom of the display. And last but not least, we've got the sign. First thing you will do once you open up the display is find the columns and pillars. You will open up the pillars like so and stack them on top of each other. Once you have laid the columns down on the ground, you will start to build them. You will notice when you build them that there's Velcro flush on the bottom, which is the bottom of the column. You can also tell by where the accent stripe is at. You will notice on the top that there is a gap from where the support goes and where it connects to the column. This is used for the lights. The most important part of closing the columns is to make sure that the bottom part is flush. Once the bottom part is flush, you start closing the column. Close the columns by pressing the back against the curve and allow the Velcro to connect. Once the column is closed, Lift column up and put in its place. Repeat the previous steps until all of the nine inch columns are built. Now on to the 14 by 14 corner columns. The corner columns are made in two pieces. You build them the exact same way as the nine inch pillars. You've got the top and the bottom that connect, just like so. Connect the top as shown. Once the top and bottom supports are put into the corner columns, you then take the back of the corner column, attach it to the bottom, line up the Velcro, make sure that it's flush on the bottom. Press the Velcro in on one side, go to the, the other side, make sure it's pressed down, unfold the top, press the Velcro down again on the left and right side to make sure it's secure, and the corner column is complete. Once all the columns and corner columns are built, put them in place as per your floor plan. Once all the pillars are in place, you then take the wall panels, First, you'll want to fold the top and bottom scores. Then you'll let the bottom half drop. Use the score, put it up against. Use your foot to gently place the bottom of the wall panel flush with the bottom of the column. Line the Velcro up with the Velcro on the column and attach. Then take the top of the wall panel and repeat. Once panel is in place, hold the column with one hand, 
Bend the fold 90 degrees with the other and slowly drag the wall panel backwards. Grab the next column that you're going to attach the wall panel to, bring it by the wall panel, turn the column 90 degrees. Once the column is turned at a 90 degree angle, you will match the Velcro to the Velcro on the column. Press and then turn the column 90 degree angle out and you are ready to now attach the next wall panel. Repeat until all the back wall is built. Once you are finished with the back wall panels, you will then connect the left and right side wings. The wall panels for the left and right side wings will have vinyl on both the back and the front. Now that all the wall panels are attached, it's time to put in all the shelf supports. The next step is to put in the shelf supports. Make sure that when you put in the shelf supports that the Velcro is facing up in the air. You will first insert pole into hole for shelf support. Make sure that you use the the back ones first, the closest to the wall panels. Once you get that in the hole, you will slide it over and put it in the left hand side hole. Take the next shelf support, put it again in the front, and then you put it in the left hole again. Repeat this step until all the shelf supports are in all the shelf support holes in all of the columns. The next step will be to insert all of the shelf supports in the correct place. Make sure that you start with all the shelf supports that are back towards the wall panel. Now that all the bars are up, the next step will be to put in the shelves. And now is the shelves. Make sure that when you install the shelves, that the bottom part with the Velcro is facing down on the shelf supports. Take the shelf at an angle, lay it gently on the shelf supports, press down, secure, and you're done. Repeat this until all the shelves are completed. Next step to assemble the Infinity Light displays is to insert the storage compartments. Take the storage compartment, attach to the left column, connect the Velcro, move it back, connect the right side with the Velcro, press down to make sure that it's straight, take the shelf, put the shelf on top, and the storage compartments are now complete. Repeat process until all four storage compartments are inserted. The next step in the process is to connect the signs and attach the signs to the top of the pillars. First unfold the sign, fold the triangle that's in the back of the sign, connect the Velcro. and the sign is built. Next step to connecting the sign is you take this, the large center sign, place it in the middle of the pillar on top of the column.
For the corner signs, repeat the same process as the large sign. Unfold, fold the triangle so the Velcro connects. Place sign as shown into corner. the lights first you must insert the light stick into the pillar as shown. Then take the light itself, make sure that the stem is all the way back, tighten the screw, connect the front, tighten the bolt, Make sure not to over tighten as it tighten as it will ding the plastic just until it's nice and firm.